All right, what's going on there, guys? So I'm going to be putting this in the ocean. We did a freshwater test in my pool, but for buoyancy reasons, uh, you got to change the ballast, which is what the weights are on the bottom of these. As you can see, this one says seawater. So before we take this out, we're going to flip this upside down. And if you notice on the bottom of this one, it says freshwater. So because we're going in the ocean, we're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver put it down in here and we're going to remove the freshwater ballast and we're going to switch it over to seawater. So give us an opportunity to see how much smaller the weight is on the freshwater than the seawater. Excellent. A little bit of water in there. I have to clean that off. So as you can see the weight is much smaller. <laughs> you see that? No? Yeah, I see that one's a lot higher than the other one. So, seawater weighs a little bit more. Let me grab a rag. I'll be right back, you guys. Just don't lose your screws. Screws are important. So. All right, so cleaned it out. Make sure when you guys get back from the uh, seawater experience, you make sure to get all the water out of here because there are screw holes and salt water and metal just don't get along. So, also, when you're done using your... Uh, gladius in the seawater you're going to want to take fresh water so make sure you have like a water bottle with you and make sure that you rinse off all of the components that you can physically get to not the electrical parts but I mean you can do the motors the props anything where potentially seawater could sit you want to definitely try to clean that off with fresh water before you park this thing because it will eat away at uh, metal components Salt water is not your friend when it comes to electronics. So, see. Ah. <laughs> this is not going smoothly. Let's try this again. All right. That one's going in. Yes, yeah, so this one definitely sits a little higher than the other one does. That's it. It's ready for the ocean. Fresh water out, sea water in. We'll see you guys out at the beach. And we're on the road to the ocean. And we're on the road to the ocean. Cause I'm gonna go swimming, not really cause they're sharks. But I'm gonna put my yellow submarine in the water. And I'm gonna play with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay guys, putting the gladius in the water here. It's pretty shallow. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure all the screws are in, everything's good. Let her float here for a minute. <laughs> there you go. It's a beautiful thing. Huh? I'm counting the dolphins. Are ya? <laughs> there are currently dolphins out here right now. You can see them. Yep, you can see them right off the sandbar. My GoPro probably can't capture it, but there's definitely dolphins just kind of trolling along out there. So pretty cool. There seems to be some wildlife going on. So we're going to put the Gladius in the water and send her out on a bit of a mission here. Have some fun. So disaster strikes. I get all this cool footage. I'm underwater. I'm checking things out. There's fish. There's all this cool stuff. I finally got the thing in the ocean. And then I made a major boo-boo, right? I disconnected the wire for the drone while the Wi-Fi receiver box was still on and it trashed the media disk drive when it disconnected. So when I got home, I realized my mistake. I called Chasing Innovation. I said, man, I can't. It says it needs repair. I, I think I affected the media drive. And so they sent me a, 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 a program to install on my computer, connected to the Wi-Fi on the Gladius when I got home. And unfortunately, I lost all of the footage because I had to format and repair the media drive because I disconnected the wire from the top of it before turning off the Wi-Fi box. So I actually have none of the footage I took. So I took a screenshot showing you what happened. Cannot find media disk. Need repair. I did repair it with the program. It was quite simple. It was definitely my fault on this end. So... 
Very unfortunate that that happened. We're going to have to take another opportunity to go to the uh, seawater again because I definitely had some very cool footage and it got corrupted when I unplugged the uh, cable from the top of the Gladius before shutting off the Wi-Fi box. So totally my fault. But I want you guys to know I did make an effort to try to get to the seawater and uh, yeah, so we'll have to do it again. All right, guys, drone worship and I'm out. Toodaroo!